Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about the key of endurance, the key that Jesus used to endure his trials. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Nick Acosta, and I just wanna invite you guys to grow with me as I grow with God. So let's grow. Jesus, if we know about Jesus, we know that he was God in the flesh and still is God. But he came among his own creation in a human body. The Bible calls it sinful flesh. And he suffered of the emotions, the temptations of the flesh, and all the things that we would be tempted by and go through as humans today. That's why he can relate with us. That's why he's greater than any other high priest because he can relate to us and he actually stays as high priest forever and is continually offering that same blood that he shed for us, right? So he relates to us because he felt such pain, such anguish, agony and in the persecution and the slaps and the spit and the mocking and the the thorns and the whips and lashes and bruises and wounds and stripes and all those things that he suffered in his body he did it feeling every single bit of it as a human so the same pain that we feel today if we would fall or if somebody would hit us with a whip he felt that a hundred times. I'm talking pain that we can't even imagine, pain that none of us have ever endured or suffered. And he had a key that he used to be able to go through that stuff. So what does the Bible say that Jesus uh, used in order to endure? The Bible says in Hebrews 12 2, that Jesus endured the cross, endured the suffering. Jesus went through the greatest of sacrifices and pains that any human has gone through by doing one thing. The Bible says that he endured the cross by keeping his gaze, his eyes, his focus on the joy set before him. So he had a reward ahead of him. He had something in mind. He looked forward to something and it was that reward. It was that result. It was that treasure, the finish line. It was the prize if he would just remain in the race and run it with full trust in the Father. And that's exactly what Jesus did for our benefit. Jesus endured the cross because he saw the reward at the finish line. And that's what gave him the strength and motivation to go and to keep on going, to take the whips and to take the persecution and to take the hitting and the blows and the mocking and the accusations from the people that he was dying for. And he went all the way to the cross and then he rose up and then he ascended and went to the right hand of the Father and then he placed his precious blood of sacrifice sacrifice on the mercy seat of God's temple and now that blood is mediating for us is helping us to be forgiven and it's washing us and cleansing us from all unrighteousness when we turn to him when we repent of our sins when we believe in his name right and Jesus knew that he saw that when he was going through that tough tough time during his trials he saw that very finished work and that's what gave him the motivation it was you it was me it was us going from sinners to saints from orphans to sons from unbelievers to believers to the church of Jesus Christ redeemed and sanctified by his spirit so Jesus saw us redeemed saved and forgiven and in right standing with the father reconciled to him no longer any enemies of God and so he acquired the motivation to go to the cross. I want to give you guys good news today that you are loved and that Jesus did it all for you. But on top of that, that is your key for you to use today in your trials, in the middle of those tribulations, in the middle of the waves coming at you, the winds coming at you, the things that happen in life. Because even though we are redeemed and not of this world, no longer of darkness, but in the light, we are 
are still in the world of darkness and we are to let our light shine. So to let our light shine, we must endure a lot of things. We must keep our minds on the prize, on the reward, on the finished product and the results and the prize of what would come about if we could just fight the good fight of faith if we would just run the race that is set before us with endurance if we would just not give up something good is going to come something good is going to happen there's going to be a finished work for you and I to celebrate at the end of this all. So whatever your trial is today, because Jesus promised that we would overcome if we would just keep going, if we would just trust in him, if we would just not give up and not walk away from the faith, we would overcome and we would be those houses built on solid foundation on rock that will not fall or be destroyed by the winds and the waves that would come. But Jesus also promised the winds and the waves. even Whether you're a house on sand or a house on rock, the winds and the waves are going to come regardless. The difference is that only one type of house will stand and remain, and that's you and that's me. If we would just keep our minds on the prize, our minds on the reward, remember the promises of God, remember the blessings of God, remember that we will be with the Lord forever and ever, remember that you have eternal life, remember that your body, even though we still have sinful flesh, this body, even this body will one day be redeemed praise God so you can just remember the rewards and the good things that are to come because of your endurance you will gain the strength and motivation to keep on going to not look back but to press forward and toward the goal toward the finish line Paul said I do not look back but I look forward and press forward so that I can acquire the gift and the reward that will come to those who believe and walk by faith and not by sight and not give up. There is a gift for you at the finish line. And I just want to remind you to do what your Lord and Savior did. And that's keep your mind on the price. Keep your mind on the promise of the Father. And you will gain the strength to endure even the toughest of trials and persecutions in this world. Bless you guys. I hope this helped you. And I hope that you remember this in the middle of your trial. Because it will give you strength. Because the Lord Jesus was our example example in endurance. Amen. If this was good for you, if you think this might help somebody you know, please do me three favors. Like this video, share this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for growing with me as I grow with God, and I'll see you next time. Bless you guys.